Military personnel and defense civilians are faced with deadlines. Get the COVID-19 shot or face disciplinary action. Top brass are wrestling with those who are refusing, some due to religious exemptions. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. More than 90% of the 1.3 million active service members have rolled up their sleeves to receive the mandatory vaccination, but thousands have filed exemptions most denied. Republicans say it's a slap in the face to our service members to decide between harsh disciplines and violating their conscience. This is disgusting. It's wrong. It needs to stop. Joe Biden needs to start standing up for the men and women of our military instead of trashing them and tell them he's going to ruin their lives. Refusing to get the vaccine could be career ending, fines, loss of benefits, dishonorable discharge and even court martial. 97% of the Air Force is fully vaccinated, but the branch still had to boot 40 recruits for not meeting its November 2nd deadline. Military advocates want the Defense Department to allow exemptions, especially for the highly trained elite units. All we're asking is that the Department of Defense honor the Constitution and the rule of law, honor its own regulations, and allow these Navy SEALs to continue to serve with a religious accommodation to avoid having to take this vaccine that violates their conscience and their sincerely held religious beliefs. Democrat Jim Panetta is for the mandate. Quote, vaccinating every eligible service member will improve readiness and have an immediate and positive impact on the communities in which they serve. Others say the president's mandate shows his anti-military bias. Joe Biden is telling you exactly what he thinks of our military, whether it's the botch withdrawal from Afghanistan, whether it's the um, not wanting to fund our military, and now this, he doesn't respect these, the sacrifices our men and women in the service are taking. And some worry the mandate will hurt military recruitment. What I don't want is every mom and dad in America advising their children, whatever you do, don't join that outfit. More than a dozen U.S. service members have filed lawsuits on the mandatory vaccinations. The U.S. Marine Corps and the Navy, well, they have a deadline at the end of this month, and the U.S. Army has a deadline of December 15th. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.